Hello everyone, Phoenix Fella here, and welcome to another CSGO video. This is actually a first for me at Overwatch case, so we're going to download it. If you guys don't know what or Overwatch is, it's basically uh, people get reported, and instead of piling it all up on Valve, they send Overwatch cases to people with 150 wins. Um, it's You have to be at least a Gold Nova 1 F. There's one other requirement. So basically you watch the gameplay that got reported and try to determine whether the person is uh, wall hacking, uh, aim assisting, or any other like jump scripts or anything like that. And if it's so, you get to, you, you fill out the form and then they punish according to whatever the, the hack was. Those two on Mac. This guy's hacking. Well, he's trying to cover up. I mean, he was just steady watching the guy. Well, now he's like that. So. What is he at? Eight and one? Okay. <laughs> that was pretty simple. Okay, so he's watching from the sign not I watched enough war out to know cheats. See he's not watching anyone right now. Something later happens, I'm saying he's legit. Smoke. Smoke. Cause he's he's aiming at nothing, shooting at nothing. There's been times if he had walls he would've known the, the last round we watched. He would've known there was two guys and long he would have just stayed watching it. Instead, he moved to mid. So he's really good at covering it up, or he's legit. The only thing I questioned was that Deagle shot. He shot him through the wall. Deploying flashbang. Which, you know, he could have aim assist on Deagle only. Then again, he 
could be grieving. He hasn't, there's no signs of it yet, but, you know, later in the round. Go ahead, use the deal again. I saw him. He's on a site. I saw him. Of course, I can see him on the map too, but I saw him move behind that box. Ooh! Okay. If I could turn on x ray right now, that looked like it flicked back to right where the guy would have been. Watch. Mm. That might have just been pure luck. But the op definitely turned right where the guy was. He would know there was a, if he had walls he would know there was a guy a cat just watching I'm throwing smoke flashback 15 and 3 I am the bomb. he's successful <laughs> successful at staying alive I gotta say that flashback. I think maybe if anything he's just a smurf Yeah, see, he's watching. Of course, he's being like obvious about it. He might know they're not there. You got to think of everything when it comes to these cases. All late and wrong to party. He gonna pick you all up one by one. Watch. Terrorists win. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he has the assist. Like I said, I think he might, if anything, be a Smurf, a bad Smurf, but a Smurf nonetheless. Oh, him with shot his teammate dead, or it looked like it. He's blinded. Okay, so this is what we come to. This is now you review the evidence. It is your duty to determine the facts for each of the categories below. Note for each category of disruption, you should presume the suspect to be innocent. Only a confident that you witness behavior that would agree upon the CSGO community to be disruptive, anti-competitive, and or antisocial beyond a reasonable doubt. Should you be selected evident beyond a reasonable doubt, if you are not 100% confident in your decision, you should like to uh, select insufficient evidence if you don't feel like you're able to dedicate the appropriate attention level required for the verdict please click postpone judgment the case will remain available for you to review at a later time so if i don't know i can just hit po postpone but we're going to go with insufficient on everything um major disrupt or disruption aim assistance uh he didn't have aim assistance you could tell throughout the whole way he was missing shots like crazy you may be judged for the unreasonable member of CSGO community is clearly demonstrating that the suspect used extreme external software to improve their aim. No, insufficient. Major disruption vision assistance. It. Vision or the evidence you reviewed would be judged by any reasonable member of the CSGO community as clearly demonstrating the suspect used external software to gain information about locations of their opponents, vision through wall smokes, Flashbangs, effect reduction or elimination, etc. Uh, insufficient. Also, major disruption, other external assistance, uh, anything um, listed above, speed hacking, automated jumping scripts, upside down views, etc. Um, again, insufficient. 
griefing. Yeah, he wasn't griefing. Griefing is where you like deliberately attack your teammate and everything. So we're going to submit verdict. So that's it. That's how you do a Overwatch case. Pretty awesome. So um, that was my first one. I don't know if I'll like record all of them, but I kind of want to because I like that sort of stuff. And I know a lot of people like it also. So uh, that's going to do it. If you guys like the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more of CSGO Overwatch cases, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.